Today in election news. Davoud Danesh Jafari, the head of the central election headquarters of the presidential candidate Mohsen Rezaei, said today that Rezaei continues to be interested in the formation of a coalition government. Speaking at the Dasqeib Mosque in the eastern city of Zanjan, Danesh Jafari also said that Iran's economy should be called managed on a regional and federal basis to enable the country to resolve its problems in its fear and he called on the government to reduce its hold on the economy. Danesh Jafari, who resigned his post as Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs in the government of President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, said with regards to Rezaei's foreign policy program that there will be no change in these policies because, quote, the bulk of the policies are decided in the Supreme National Security Council, which is headed by the leader of the Islamic Republic, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. He explained that the nuclear stances adopted by Iran are also those adopted by the Supreme National Security Council adding that these policies are, quote, not related to the president. Danesh Jafari also said that the move to dissolve the management and planning organization during the night government's term was hasty and that the justifications for it are not logical. Zahra Ranavard, author and wife of presidential candidate Mir Hossein Musavi, said today that Iranian women are experiencing life through the best moments of the country's history. Rahnavard, who was speaking to a gathering of the third generation of young women supporters of Mir Hossein Musavi, called Nasimi Dokhtaran, addressed three questions regarding women in her speech, namely, quote, What do we know about women? Why are women in this situation? And how can women find happiness? She praised Iranian women in general, saying they were, quote, enthusiastic, joyful, wise, and sophisticated, and that they are committed to moral principles and to faith. A former principal of the al zahra University in Tehran, Ranavard also said at this gathering that Tehran's quote, educated young women were concerned about finding suitable employment and the management system of the country. Ranavard considered that employment was the first step in entering the stage of equality and eliminating discrimination, and said that Iran's women and girls should feel that they have freedom and security in the workplace, in the streets, and in universities. In continuation of his trip to the northern province of Sebnan, Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad on Thursday spoke at a gathering of the families of war martyrs of that province, saying, quote, The path of the martyrs is alive and bright among Iranians. According to the semi-official Isna News Agency, he added, quote, Today everything that the nation of Iran has is due to the steadfastness and resistance of self sacrificers stressing that, quote, the Iranian nation will consider itself indebted to the families of martyrs forever. Ahmadinejad explained that until a few years ago, world powers gathered round with the intention of discussing and reaching decisions on Iran, and they used to say, we must uproot Iran and must contain Iran. But he continued today, quote, because we preserve the spirit of sacrifice and the blood of the martyrs, all the powers of the world bow to Iran and speak of the greatness of the Iranian nation. Ahmadinejad continued, quote, They send a message saying, We want to make up for the past. We want to be a friend of the Iranian nation and disregard the past. Today, in the mind of the politicians of the world, Iran is equal to the highest powers of the world. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com